Welcome back. You know the biggest challenge, the biggest challenge in doing these little video things is finding anywhere that's even remotely quiet to record. Check this out. See the wind, or it's birds, or it's megaphones. There's nowhere quiet. There's nowhere quiet to record. And there's nowhere quiet. I can't record at home. Uh, I have another home office. Can't record there. Anyway, so sorry about all the noise that happens in all these videos. Not for the lack of trying. So yesterday, yesterday, Mary Claire posted in the forum, which I put in the blog, which I'll link below, about she participates in Back to 2020, but she does the same thing that a lot of people do, which is they don't take all of the suggestions there. And the two things that she mentioned in particular are um, anti-reflective coding, which I say don't skip, especially with differential prescriptions. So for your close-up, for your close-up lenses, always have anti-reflective coating and never pay more than five or ten dollars for it because that's all it's worth that's all in, in wholesale it costs pennies we're talking 20 to 50 cents so when you pay 20 dollars the optic shop is making all the profit they need to and you have glare from the screen you have glare from overhead lighting you have reflections from the windows there's just there's too much reflection there you really don't want the eye strain, so get the anti-reflective coating. And then the other thing that she mentions is she realized late in the game that you don't want to switch from normalized from old normalized to new normalized in the same day. And I say this all the time because what happens is even if you're new normalized, your new lowered prescription gives you the vision that you want or need on the eye chart, vision happens in your brain. So if your visual cortex has a reference of higher clarity, then no matter what it is that you put on that's a reduced prescription, that even if on its own you have great vision with it, it'll always feel off, it'll always feel blurry, and it'll take you a long time to get used to it, just because your brain goes, this is not as clear as it could be. So when you take my advice and you don't wear your old normalized on the same day. You start off without glasses. You challenge yourself with active focus to the point that you're really, really tired of the blur. And then put on your new lower normalized. It'll feel great. And you'll have a great experience with it from, from that point on. And you'll avoid plateaus and you'll avoid feeling uncomfortable and you'll avoid slow progress. This is the kind of stuff that I spent a long time and many mistakes figuring out so it's absolutely worth especially if you're in back to 2020 if you're already you you made the conscious choice to have a structured approach you're spending money and time take all the suggestions that are in the program because all the stuff has been tweaked and honed over years and there's been a bunch of feedback and a bunch of revisions all that stuff every word of it is worth taking exactly as it is in there it really truly is what else? I think that's it for today. I got a haircut. Aww. Um, if you like these short little blog vlog style videos, give it a thumbs up, this one, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.